Does it just feel good whenever you get the weapon that you want in Destiny? Goes off an exotic quest. And it's good. Except for you have to put hours into it. That's how I felt about the Thorn. This is an exotic quest review and guide about the Thorn. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first part is just simply go into that that one strike. I don't remember what it's called, but it's that strike, yeah. Next part is to go into the plague lands and kill um, around 200 fallen or so. After you get, uh, like the easiest way to do this is go into Archon's Forge or do public events because you could rack that up easily. But if you don't have any friends like I didn't have on at the moment, just, yeah, just do a public event. That's the next step. Okay, so the next step involves you going to the Crucible and getting Void Kills. Yes, Void Kills, like abilities or weapons, you could use prime. Um, you could use uh, raid weapons like from old gen to get kills as your primary, or you could just go into mayhem with like a god roll matador like I did. Still took me an hour though. I hate that. Okay, the next step is just simply just use five modes of light. If you don't have five modes of light, then there's something wrong with you. The next step is to simply just go into the abomination highest, which is basically the level. Um, the level 38 version of the, well, I mean, level 36 version of the, um, of the summoning pits. The way that you get it is just, you have a skeleton key to open the chest. I almost had a heart attack because I did not notice that it dropped as an actual exotic engram. But there's the thorn, my precious baby, which I've been trying to get for the past four weeks. Yeah, make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and don't forget... It stay relentless.